All right, last week, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This week, Larceny Barrel Proof is up next with the A123, holding true at still around 60 bucks. Can it hang with the C922 from last year, which has really set the bar? Let's find out. It's the mash and drum. Those were paradiddles. I had somebody request me play some paradiddles. That's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, really fast. So whoever requested that, there are your paradiddles. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. for The Mass and Drum, and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. Appreciate all the support. Since its debut, Larceny Barrel Proof Bourbon has been a great, affordable barrel proof bourbon, especially when you don't have a lot of cast strength weeded bourbons out there on the market. If you guys watch my channel, you know these have been very hit and miss for me up until last year's C922, which was the Larceny Barrel Proof I feel like we were all waiting for. B522 got pretty close, it was still a pretty good batch, but C922 was on another level. It was sweet, it was barrel proof, it was balanced, it felt like a weeded bourbon. Perhaps it was a bit older than the past batches, who knows, whatever the reasons are. The C922 set the bar pretty high for any follow-up releases which brings us to A123. All right, so here's the A123 stats. Now, it's non-H stated, but said to be about six to eight years old. Bottled at barrel proof. A123 comes in at 125.8 proof. Nice high proof there. Mash bill, 68% wheat, 20% corn, 12% malted barley. It is non-chill filtered. MSRP is still 60 bucks. Now, of course, we have Larceny Barrel Proof C922, which we will compare to. So let me put that aside for now. All right, let's dive in to the A123. Here we go, guys. Hope everybody enjoyed the Super Bowl. I am uh, filming this before the Super Bowl actually happens. So I don't know who the winner is, but hopefully whoever you were rooting for, your team won. All right, on the nose. Oh, that is very sweet. I am getting butterscotch on the nose immediately. And you guys know that is my favorite favorite note to get in bourbon oh it makes me so happy it's like this butterscotch but it's also very fruit forward and i feel like this is where these larceny barrel proof weeded bourbons need to be going a little bit more fruit forward a little bit more sweet that butterscotch note man if this is if this could be the profile at least on the nose all the time i'm here for it i did not like when the larceny barrel proofs were that Heaven Hill, it was just like heat and like peanut nuttiness. And that's all they were. That's not what I want in a weeded bourbon. You know, if I want that, I can just drink a Last Craig Barrel Proof. Larceny Barrel Proof needs to differentiate itself. And I feel like you give me a sweeter profile with those fruit forward notes that you want in a weeder. That nuttiness is obviously there. A little bit of, uh, you know, your usual notes you get in Larceny Barrel Proof, your cinnamon, your nutmeg. The spice is there too. I'm almost getting like a chili powder in this, which is kind of cool. The nose is fantastic. I mean, this this could this could do well. It's my first pour of this ever. I've not even tried it. Not even my bottle. Borrowed it for the review. <laughs> Haven't even been able to find one yet. So maybe a little bit of a cocoa powder there, but it's pretty faint. But yeah, I'm loving the sweetness so far. Let's see how it goes to the palate. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Caramelly, it's butterscotchy, it's a little chocolatey. This, hmm, man, you feel that spice though. So far, so good. It's, <laughs> it's hitting all those notes on the palate here for me. Second sip, it lost a little bit of its sweetness. And more of that nuttiness profile came in that you're used to with the Heaven Hill product. The nuttiness, it's like that chocolate covered peanut type note that comes in. Still a lot of cinnamon spice. That chili powder that I was getting on the nose is coming through on the palate too. A little bit of a chili, like chili flake. Mmm. It's also got a lot of, and I don't even know like the, the term for this. It's got a lot of weediness. Like it tastes like wheat grain. There's a lot of wheat like in this, I think, that comes through on the palate. You don't always get it. I felt like I didn't get it on the C922, but I feel like I'm getting some wheat grain here, some weediness. 
All right, third sip, what I do like about this, it is it, it is coming off more like a weeded. I feel like every single release, you get those weeded bourbon profiles. It, it hits a little bit softer on the palate, like a weeded bourbon should be. I mean, you still get the proof. It is barrel proof. It is still on the younger side, whether it's six or eight. It really keeps that that little bit of sweetness. It's not, I'm not getting as much fruit forwardness as I was getting on the nose. Again, this is the first pour, it could be opening up here and it's just starting to really reveal what it actually is rather than that first, that first pour. It is getting easier and smoother to drink. This all of a sudden, like fourth, fourth sip in, like I wouldn't believe you if you told me this is a hundred and 125, almost 126 proof. It's 125.8, but it's got this long lingering finish. The palate is soft, it's sweet, caramel, a little bit of that butterscotch is still there. Again, hints of that cocoa powder. I think the chili, the little chili flake you get on the back end of it. This is a really nice, really nice bourbon. Is it as good as C922? Well, let's find out. All right, here it is, C922, Larceny Barrel Proof. This came in at 126.6, so just slightly higher than the uh, than the A123. Let's just compare the noses real quick. All right, so when you compare them, I think the thing that stood out about C922 is that it came off a little bit older. If it was on that eight-year side, you know, six to eight, again, it's NAS. We don't really know the ages they're putting in here. Maybe they put in some older stuff sometimes. Maybe it's that six to eight range. We just don't know. So when you're when you're nosing them, the C922 clearly comes off like it could be an older product. If it's not older, then it's definitely blended to come off a little bit older. You, you're getting a little bit more barrel char. There's more caramel. The the flavors are a little bit more developed in C922. Whereas the A123, again that weediness, that wheat grain forwardness comes through, which I don't mind. I, I really don't mind it. I think you know you kind of want that in weeder to some effects. But yeah, C922, it's just, it's deeper, it's richer, it's darker. All right, let's try C922 on the palate. C922 from Larceny Barrel Proof has this richer complexity from front to back, but it still drinks like that, the, like a weeder should. It's softer, but somehow it's a little bit bolder with the flavors it does have. Now, going right to the A123 here, let's take a sip. I don't think A123 is as deep and complex as C922, but man, that butterscotch note it has is that, that it's got me. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's like flavors like that is what I, man, you find that, damn. By the way, this Friday, you guys will see a uh, A123 Larceny Barrel Proof versus an A123 Elijah Craig Barrel Proof matchup. See which one I like more. So, you guys, mark your calendars for Friday. That'll be coming out. But, man, when you compare these, definitely a little bit more oak driven, sweeter, deeper, rich brown sugars. Like I said, A123, a little bit more grain forward. But I think some of the sweeter flavors you get makes up for some of that wheat grain forwardness. I really like the butterscotch caramel notes that I'm getting, but that's my palate. If I if I had to give a, a full comparison, A123 I don't think will be as universally loved as C922. However, if this is a, a, a just like a prequel of things to come for the rest of the year, I have high hopes for B and C. If, if B and C batch from Larceny can combine the richness of that with a little bit of that butterscotchiness from this A batch, Heaven Hill, if you're watching, that's that's what the world needs. Give me that richness of C922 with some of that, maybe a little bit of an older whiskey profile, but man, amp up the butterscotch in that blend. It's final breakdown time. All right, guys, final breakdown on the Larceny Brow Proof A123. Price, 60 bucks. Secondary market value, I mean, Again, maybe 100, maybe 120 the most, if, you, if it's a really good batch. I don't see this one getting the fanfare that the C922 did, so I would say 100 bucks the most. Uh, availability, like I always like to say with uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or Larceny Barrel Proof, it's wonky. It depends where you live. It depends on what time of year it is. These release at various times, depending on where exactly you live. So, like I always love to say, wonky. 
Uh, value for this one, again, I mean, we've talked about it before, a barrel proof weeded bourbon six to eight years old from one of the best distilleries on the planet, uh, one of the most well-known distilleries on the planet, it's a high value. The most I pay for this one, if this butterscotch note keeps getting <laughs> more and more, I might go up to 80 for this one, but for right now, until that happens, 60 is where I land. As far as like a weeded bourbon experience at cast strength, I highly prefer the Maker's Mark 46 cast strength over the standard Maker's Mark cast strength. The second alternative is Rebel cast strength bourbon. Now these are store picks only. You can't just kind of walk into a store and find these, but if you know a store that does store picks that has these Rebel cast strengths laying around, this is a weeded bourbon profile. You're looking at about 120 proof for one of these. And generally they're cheaper than the Larceny Brow Crew. And you're usually looking at 45 to maybe 50 bucks for one of these uh, versus 60 for one of these. All right guys, so when it comes to is it a recommend, I'm kind of instituting a new system here. I'm gonna give you guys one of four options now from now on with uh, is it a recommend. So one's gonna be buy it, one's gonna be try before you buy, one's gonna be skip it, and then lastly, it's gonna be buy it and back it up. Like it's so good, you need to buy an extra one. For Larsity Brow Proof A123, I'm just gonna say buy it. I think it's really good. I think it's worth the price. If you could find it at 60 bucks, that little bit of butterscotch note it has, it drinks like a weeder. I think Heaven Hill is starting to figure this out more and more each and every year. If this is the beginning, I'm hoping that B and C gets to a point where you can buy it and back it up because it's gonna be that good. Like I said, you could combine this little bit of a butterscotchy flavor profile with the C922, that, that like darkness that it has. You can find a way to combine that in every single batch. It's gonna be a buy it and back it up for, from here on out. But for right now, A123, Larceny Barrel Proof, it's a buy. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review on the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room for the new Larceny Barrel Proof A123. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments if you've had this yet. And before we go, I'm gonna see if this blend works. C922 and A123. Let's see if the two powers can combine to make the profile I want here. Oh, the nose is glorious, guys. The nose is glorious. Let's try it. I think there's a lot of potential with that blend. I think I have to play with the proportions a little bit. But A123 and C922 blended, if you guys have them both, I suggest you try it. It's, it's, it's close. Cheers, until next time.